Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat, and uh, in this quick tip tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to use a spline to mask out clones. So I've just got this um, bag model. If you can uh, find it in the content browser, and so I'm going to create a cl uh, what am I looking for? Cloner object. That's what I want. So we can whack this this inside. As you can see, it's cloning upwards. We don't want that. So I'm going to click on my cloner. And uh, in fact, I'm going to change this from linear to the honeycomb array. And as you can see, we get this kind of array here. Um, so I'm going to change its orientation to Y. So now it's flat along the floor. I'm just going to bring these clones closer together as well. So here we can see its size width and its size height. So let's just rein that in. So they're nicely bunched. And we'll bring that in like that. So now we've got like a collection of clones like this. Uh, I'm also going to up the count as well. So let's make it, I don't know, 30 by 30. So we've got a load of them. Okay. That's great. So as you can see down the bottom of the cloner, we've got form. So you can choose circle and you can also choose square, which is what it was on. And we've also got spline. And if you click on that, we've have a field here for a spline. So let's just create a spline. Let's create an inside and change the orientation so it's flat. And uh, we can bring this up just so we can view it properly. And uh, I think I might change its size as well. So let's go to the scale tool and scale it up. Okay, that'll do. And bring it down just a tad. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go to the cloner and we can drop this end side in here. Um, so let's do that. And as you can see, it cuts it off um, depending on where the clones are inside the end side's shape. So if we grab the end side, can we move this? Yeah, we can. And obviously the clones are generated uh, as it moves along. Uh, there's something else we can do as well. If we uh, select the end side and make it editable, we can also grab its points and actually change where the clones are by this. So it gives you quite a good amount of control. I mean, I could see how this would be useful for if you wanted um, <clears throat> like some kind of foliage, you know, trees and plants, that kind of thing in a specific patch. You could uh, control where where they are using this method. So there you go. So very handy. So that was a pretty short, quick tip, but um, I'm sure you'll agree that that could be uh, quite helpful. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. As always, you can follow me on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Google Plus, and um, don't forget about the Patreon if you want to support Digital Meat. There'll be a link on screen when this tutorial finishes. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.